aquatic environment is exposed to many stresses in which the biodiversity of the ecosystem can be altered. One impacting factor includes polluted runoff, in particular agricultural runoff. Agricultural runoff contains nutrients, sediment and chemicals which are easily washed or leached into the aquatic environments such as the Great Barrier Reef. entering the ecosystem has huge effects on the natural processes that take place within the habitat. Algae can take advantage of the increased nutrient levels in the water and thrive at the detriment of other organisms, for example causing a decline in coral development. The increased load of nutrients can also change the pH of the water which affects the resilience of aquatic organisms. major problems by covering photosynthetic organisms such as seagrasses and coral affecting their ability to photosynthesize. Suspended sediment increases the turbidity of the water which also affects these photosynthetic organisms. This then affects the coral richness and therefore the biodiversity in the marine environment. contaminants such as pesticides and herbicides which are toxic to the environment. It can add stress to the organisms which has the potential to weaken an organism's resilience to other environmental changes. In turn it can cause a decline in the biodiversity of the ecosystem which can disrupt the food chain, altering the processes in the aquatic environment of the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest world heritage area off the northeast coast of Australia, covering approximately 345,000 square kilometres. This ecosystem rich in marine life is being degraded due to human activities of agricultural production. The water quality has been decreasing over the past 150 years. The industries that are causing these problems are growing sugarcane, grazing livestock and horticulture. The decreasing water quality is causing coral reef cover to decline and algal growth to rise. Studies have shown that higher concentrations of nutrients, chemicals and sediments are present in the wet tropics region of the Great Barrier Reef. This includes Cairns, the Fitzroy, High and Norman B Islands. The concentrations increase during periods of high rainfall. Agricultural runoff is causing detrimental problems to this unique marine ecosystem as coral cover is declining and the biodiversity of the reef is slowly changing. To prevent it from potential irreversible changes, the Australian Government and other authorities are putting plans and policies in place. These include Reef Plan, Reef Rescue and Caring for Our Country. Reef Plan has been set in place since 2009 and modified after actions undertaken were not sufficient enough to stop and reverse the decline in water quality. Specific to agricultural runoff, farmers are to help by adopting land practices which result in the reduction of sediment, nutrients and chemicals being washed into the Great Barrier Reef. The Australian Institute of Marine Science stated that nutrient increase not only results in an increase in algal growth, but has also caused an outbreak of this crown of thorns starfish, which is causing extensive damage to the coral. It has caused a 42% decrease in coral cover over the Great Barrier Reef. The State of Environment Report 2011 conveys that since European settlement, two to ten times the amount of sediment and nutrients are being washed into the Great Barrier Reef. Reports state that if runoff is decreased, macroalgae can be reduced by up to 39%, which in turn may increase coral cover by 16-33%. to 33%. The Great Barrier Reef Outlook 2009 stated that approximately one third of the Great Barrier Reef is exposed to pesticides, which is accumulating within the organisms that dwell in the ecosystem. These pesticides are toxic and affect the health of the marine organism, which reduces their resilience to other changes in the environment, such as climate. The Great Barrier Reef is used for many industries such as recreation, tourism, commercial fishing and research, which accounts for $5.7 billion per year in Australia's economy. The future of the Great Barrier Reef is decided by the actions that are taken to restore water quality and increase coral reef. Overall, if the programs and strategies to overcome this detrimental problem of agricultural runoff, the Great Barrier Reef has the potential to improve in health.